uh, today we are going to see a, another very important and interesting group that is nothing but group of symmetries of a square as the name suggests first of all we have to find symmetries of a square now in order to find symmetries of square what we have to do is we have to take one piece of paper uh, in that piece of paper you draw a square inside and after the square is drawn you have to give labels in clockwise direction 1 2 3 and 4 after that you have to remove uh, that square uh, from the piece of paper and uh, you have to give the same labels on the other side of that square as well i mean once you have uh, given the labels in the clockwise direction as 1 2 3 4 after you remove that square from that paper then on the back side of that square again you have to write the same labels now in order to find the symmetries you just try to put that square back into its original position and just look for a number of ways you can do it and after doing this activity you will see that you will get eight different symmetries of a square and that is exactly what I have written over here I hope it is visible so first of all uh, you have removed that square from that uh, paper right so you can put it as it is back and that is nothing but our r0 zero. 0 nothing but uh, 0 is nothing but the degree here now uh, on this side whatever the symmetries you got uh, that i have uh, written and uh, if you observe this symmetry properly this is nothing but obtained by rotating our original square in 90 degrees in anti clockwise direction so I am going to denote this uh, function by R90. Next, uh, we also have this type of symmetry and this is obtained by rotating the original square in anti-clockwise direction in 180 degrees. So I will write here R180. Next we have one of these symmetries as well so this is obtained by rotating square in anti clockwise direction in 270 degrees so i will write r270 i hope you are understanding it if you observe properly imagine that we have rotated the square in anti clockwise direction then what will happen to the labels right so this one will come here so one is here then write the labels in clockwise direction once again 1 2 3 4 now if we rotate this square in uh, anti clockwise direction by 180 degrees this one will come here right now write the labels starting from one here in clockwise direction so that is what we have 1 2 3 4 now you might have got this symmetry as well and this is nothing but uh, rotating your square in uh, horizontal axis I have denoted it by H. Uh, similarly, you might have got a such type of symmetry as well, and we got this by rotating our square uh, along the vertical axis. Then at last we will have diagonal flips. So you might have got this symmetry as well. So this is obtained by rotating a square diagonally, like this. So after rotating a square diagonally, what will happen is this one and three. Uh, will remain as it is and the positions of this 2 and 4 will change so that is what I have written here and this is a uh, rotation around the diagonal uh, but the other diagonal so here this 2 and 4 will be fixed and the position of uh, 3 and 1 will be interchanged now uh, in order to show uh, this as a group uh, we are going to take the help of a composition table and uh, by using that composition table we are going to show that this uh, symmetries of a square in fact form a group with respect to composition of function.
now i have drawn a composition table on this side now you have to complete this composition table and by using this composition table we will conclude that it is a group now as i told earlier these are all functions now in order to calculate r0 composition r0 what we have to do so we have to operate uh, r0 composition r0 this is also a function right so we have to operate it on square 1 2 3 4 which we have started earlier with on this side right now we know r0 means what the square remains as it is right that is unchanged so if we operate uh, r0 on this square we will get the same square back so this will be r0 of 1 2 3 and 4 now once again we have to operate r0 on this square again but we know that r0 keeps that square as it is so therefore this will be once again 1 2 3 4 and if you observe on this side 1 2 3 4 is here and this is nothing but r0 itself and therefore this comes out to be r0 and therefore we'll write r0 composition r0 is nothing but r0 similarly we have to find r0 composition uh, r90 in order to get this element right remember first we take element from this side right so r0 composition r90 the element will come here for example you have to find this so this is nothing but r 270 composition r 180 so this is how it goes similar as uh, matrices now in order to find r0 composition r90 i will do the same thing i will operate this on our square 1 2 3 4 now uh, naturally after applying the definition of composition of functions this is same as r0 r90 of 1 2 3 4 somewhat like this now what is the job of r90 the job of r90 is to rotate square by 90 degrees in anti clockwise direction so we have to rotate this square by 90 degrees in anti clockwise direction so after rotation what we will get the answer to the question is here so after rotating this square by 90 degrees we get this square so i will write this square as it is over here so that is nothing but i hope it is visible that is 1 2 3 4 now this is further equal to now we have to operate r0 on this square but remember r0 keeps our square as it is so therefore this will give us our square back which square this square 1 2 3 4 right and if you see where does that lie this 1 2 3 4 we have to search for it on this side and you can see that it lies here right so this is nothing but once again r 90 now you can do similar calculations and check and you see that this is r 180 this is r 270 now i will do one more calculation i will find out r 0 composition h now uh, we will do the calculations for r0 h so r0 h of 1 2 3 4 this square will be actually equal to what so first of all we have to operate h on this element but after operating h on this element you can see that we get this square right it is rotation along horizontal axis so this will be r0 of inside the bracket after rotation about horizontal axis we will get 1 2 and on the 
upper side 4 3 now this is equal to now we got r0 of this square but what is the job of r0 keeping this square as it is so this square will be as it is here so this is same as 4 3 1 and 2 and if you see on this side this is nothing but h again so this is equal to h and therefore we have h here so by doing the rest of the calculations in the first row we will get v d and d dash now i will do one more calculation for you now we are calculating d composition r0 i mean this one d composition r0 this element now what about this rest of the elements now you can do it on your own uh, r90 composition r0 will come out to be r90 next this will come out to be r180 this will come out to be r270 this will come out to be h this will come out to be v and this will come out to be d dash basically this column is repeating as it is over here and this row is repeating as it is right over here so in order to calculate decomposition r0 so initially we have to operate r0 on this square so r0 will keep that square as it is so this will be d of 1 2 3 and 4 now we have to operate d on this square but remember what is the job of square job of square is to keep uh, this 1 and 3 as it is I mean diagonal rotation is there so this 1 and 3 will be as it is and this 2 will get interchange so that will be 1 3 2 and 4 and if you observe on this side this is exactly nothing but D so we have D here